guys welcome back to my channel my name is Stephanie Charlene and Marie welcome to Charlene and Marie lifestyle so today we're going to be doing a kitchen tour you probably have already noted that I have a all-white kitchen I actually am currently in my kitchen nook and this is all white too I love a neutral palette I've been living with this kitchen ever since 2019 and so I wanted to tell you like some things that I love and things possibly in the future that I plan to change when you are designing your kitchen make sure you say hey these are the things I want and need in my kitchen two don't let people even the contractors talk you into things you're not sure about three make sure you have me four make sure you um, have proper storage or if you can't get all of the storage just think of ways to become creative with your storage but all in all I love my kitchen it's all white it's everything and so we're going to get into it so if you're interested just keep watching and I have this beautiful original archway we actually did open this archway up a little bit because it was so narrow and it was hard to get um, appliances through the little archway and so we opened this archway up but we did have the um, plaster replaced and so walking through the archway as soon as you turn to the right I have cabinets um, cabinets it doesn't go all the way up to the ceiling that's actually something I wish I had done but I did not but the next kitchen renovation I will and so you see I have cabinets along the side of my fridge and I actually took the knob off here until we find a solution because when you open the refrigerator door I didn't want my refrigerator to get scratched um, by this not being here so I really really love this setup a lot my refrigerator is called a counter death GE cafe refrigerator a counter death refrigerator is definitely more expensive um, basically what that means is it doesn't really stick out it sits more flush and so if I didn't have a counter death refrigerator it will stick out more like maybe to till about here but because it's counter death it sits more flush when you have a small space you want to keep your floor space clear so you turn to the left no is that my right yep you turn to your left see I have to learn my left from my right I have cabinets here cabinets there pull out drawers and then I have a double oven so when you have a small space you want to make sure that your space is very functional I'm not going to get into every detail about my appliances because I believe these beautiful appliances deserve its own video because these appliances are everything I've had these appliances since 2019 and I really really love them I still love them like the first day I got them these appliances are so dope um, the bottom oven has a convection the top oven has a uh, is it the bottom I don't know I, no the bottom oven has a convection and I believe the bottom oven also has this thermometer that you can put inside the meat and so you know exactly when your meat is done so there's no guesswork like cafe showed up and showed out these appliances are gorgeous and they're white as you can see let me pan I have an all white kitchen clearly and I love having an all white kitchen because when you have a small space 
you want to make everything look as light and airy as possible and so that's what I believe I achieved and I believe um, what I did to break up the white so things wouldn't look as sterile is I did not go with quartz countertops I did not go with the white marble countertop I went with traditional granite so these granite countertops to me really brought back the um, traditional traditional feel of my kitchen because I initially I was thinking about going with marble or quartz but then I didn't want things to be so sterile there's my sweetie night night <laughs> oh I love this dog so over here where night is this is kind of like night's corner and then I have my herbs here and actually I have herbs and tea in this cabinet as well we're gonna to have to do like a cabinet organization thing because a lot of cabinets are organized but some are not so this is like a cabinet that's very organized a lot of my cabinets are organized this is a cabinet that's organized you know but some of my cabinets are not organized this cabinet is organized I believe let's check yep pretty organized so that's another thing when you have a small space I'm kind of jumping around everywhere because this is really just a kitchen tour which is having a good time showing you my kitchen showing you my beautiful hardware this hardware is by a company called top knob and these knobs are brushed bronze the same as my um, stove and refrigerator handles that are brushed bronze I love them and they're very they're really good quality so back to my countertops so my countertops are granite the granite brings the traditional feel also I didn't go with any trendy backsplash I went with traditional subway tile and a cream I love it I love subway tile I really do I just feel that it gives um, any space a timeless appearance my sink is a deep undermounted sink and this sink is I, I don't know the measurements but it's uh, undermounted sink so this is you know the new way of installing the sinks to undermount them um, so counter space as you can see I don't have a lot of counter space but I'm okay with that and another thing that I do is I keep my counter minimal so my the items on my counter and the items that are out are really minimal that way it helps to keep my kitchen looking clean and pristine I do not have a um, busy kitchen my kitchen is very minimal and I love it um, I also wanted to give you guys some advice if you are going to have a kitchen renovation stick to colors that you love if you are going to be working with a designer or if you're going to be designing the kitchen on your own um, go with neutral colors you can always add a pop of color but I would stick with color palettes that you love so over here I chose to keep the security bars up but I made them functional by adding little baskets so I can keep um, my fruits and different veggies here but if I want to open up for lighting I can easily do just like this and that way I can get plenty of light this house has so many windows and so much light and I just love that so you see my stove above my refrigerator and we did have a vent installed and all of the smells when I'm cooking vents outside so when you open up this middle cabinet here focus it's just vents 
it's not actually um, a functional cabinet I mean you can open it but it's vents the top cabinets is vents it all vents outside this oven like I said hey y'all hey this um not oven microwave as I stated is uh, GE cafe I got the entire GE cafe line and it's a convection oven and it does so much so much I don't even know truth be told I need to read the instructional man I need to read the instructional manual on like what to do because I really don't know how to use this microwave <laughs> but one cool feature I'm going to show you guys so let's see if I'm ready to heat something I can add 30 seconds wait a minute let me see okay and wait a minute See, I told you guys. So if I start it, I can add more time just by spinning this knob. And I love these like just gold features. It's just so cool to me. I love this microwave. I just love GE Cafe, just period. It's just everything. I will not be without GE Cafe. Like, that's that. So, um, small space what do we do we don't just have a vent hood we have a vent hood and we have the microwave over the stove which works works perfectly fine i have my salt pepper seasoning there i actually made dinner i baked some potatoes and i have chicken in the oven now and um i just have my cooking utensils all of my other cooking utensils are like here here you know i have plenty of drawer space and then i have this beautiful garbage can we're yes. renovating the kitchen they were like do you want this milk shoot shoot i said yes i want that milk thingy i want it so here it is and also i kept this ledge here i kept that ledge because it just reminded me of the kitchen that was previously here because this is how the ledge looks over here. It doesn't have that marble detailing. So, like I said, this is my kitchen. Whatever you're feeling like you need to do for your kitchen, do what makes you happy. This makes me happy. I love it. Oh, and you know, I just have the regular sink, you know, with the pull down sprayer thingy. And it's by a company called Hans Groey. They are a very replicable, um, what do you call that? Not sink maker, but I can't think. They make faucets. They are a very replicable company. And so I love that. And oh, I bought this from Amazon. So this is heat resistant, I think up to like 600 degrees. And so you can put hot things on top of here. You can use this as a dish drainer and it can go in the dishwasher. And I love this so much because it adds extra counter space if I need it. So when you have a smaller kitchen, there is workarounds and it's not that difficult at all. And so, like I said, it depends on your family size, how you want to function in your kitchen. Um, I love it. So this is my dishwasher. Once again, as you know, GE Cafe, and you know in this cafe because this is cafe's like signature right there. It just has cafe right there. And so I love this dishwasher. Um, that's one thing because we did not open up the kitchen. We chose very high-end appliances. This dishwasher is so quiet. I think it's like 40 decibels or something. Decibels is how quiet the dishwasher runs. If we're in this kitchen and I turn this dishwasher on, you would never know it was on. I love that for me. It's a bomb. And I'm really in love with European design. This garbage can is the only garbage can in this whole house that, that is not Simple Human. And it's by a company named Robantia. I don't know how to pronounce it. But there it is. I love this garbage can. This, gar this garbage can is very tall. 
it is not um, motion censored I had a motion sensor censored garbage can and I got rid of it but you just open it up that way and I just love how tall it is um, I love how it looks too it looks like furniture it doesn't look like a garbage can so I look how I love how sleek this garbage can looks in my kitchen and so then we'll turn around here and my refrigerator that I love of course cafe and my favorite feature of this refrigerator besides how beautiful it is is it has a hot water feature so if I'm upstairs in the bed I need tea or coffee I just set the refrigerator um, to make hot water now cafe does have another model of this refrigerator that actually has a carrot built into that I did not get that because I'm not a true coffee drinker I'm a true cream drinker so if you know you know I like sweet I'm not necessarily a huge coffee fan and so I didn't feel that that extra feature for me was necessary um, so that's why I didn't get that but nonetheless this refrigerator is bomb I love how the food freezer freezes how the food stays fresh this refrigerator was definitely worth the splurge all of the appliances were actually but seeing that we did not um, open up the kitchen we splurged in other areas um what else I think that will be about it so this is my kitchen let me give you one more pan of it so once again I'm very proud of how my kitchen turned out me I love an all-white kitchen I read an article the other day and it said that all white kitchens are phasing out in my opinion a all-white kitchen can never do any wrong for one it's so bright the color white will never go out of style the same with the color black that color will never go out of style. Those are two classic colors. I love this all white kitchen. The paint color on the wall is all Sharon Williams. I don't know what the ceiling is. It's just like a white, but the color on the actual wall is themed awesome. milk by Sharon Williams. All of the paint throughout the house I chose. I chose the knobs. I chose the granite, subway tile, everything. Um, and I love it so And these floors are luxury vinyl tile I did that because I'm in the kitchen all the time um, and I just didn't want to have to deal with the hardwood the natural hardwood floors in this area being concerned about them getting scratched snow rain anything no one walks on these floors here you know so I don't have to worry about well we walk on the floors but no one comes through traffic this is a no shoe household but if we come in our in the house with the our shoes on in the kitchen it's fine but not on these floors no so as you can see there's a transitional uh, transitional what do you call that strip here where the kitchen nook starts and then this luxury vinyl floor and then this lux luxury vinyl floor goes all the way downstairs into the basement washroom like my entire basement so um that was something that i actually liked the option of the luxury vinyl floors are more easy to care for especially when you have a dog named knight he's a sweetie but he's a big dog knight but he's happy because i took him on a walk today 
and so he's in his favorite position look at him he's so funny so <clears throat> anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this kitchen tour um i will like to get into an organizational tour um well not an organization tour i want to do an organizational tour but kind of like also organized with me so the drawers that are not organized the things in my kitchen that are not organized we can get organized also over in the corner there there is a half bath basement and then there's a huge pantry here so i'm not gonna go over there because i don't feel like night trying to follow me but the pantry is definitely a deep pantry nice size it's not a walk-in pantry but it's definitely a great pantry size um seeing that pretty much we eat only fresh produce anyway um we don't need like a whole lot of storage but rest assured our basement is like um want to say the basement is like 14 1500 square feet and we have a huge huge walk-in pantry down there so light fixtures so that was another way that I chose to really help my home have some character I made sure to choose more traditional light fixtures so the center light is more so distressed it's white and then this pendant that's over the sink. Let me turn the kitchen light off so you can get more of a feel. So at night I just have this light on and it's all white, it's distressed, but it provides such a nice light. But needless to say, this is how that looks. So, I hope you enjoyed my kitchen tour. Please like, share, and subscribe. Remember, you have mighty spaces, even though they're small. Every room does not have to be gigantic. When people come into my kitchen, they fall in love with the design, with the appliances. It's all white, it's clean, it's crisp. Everything doesn't have to be huge. If you have a huge space, you do. If you don't, you make that space work for you. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in, um, you know, below the video and, or you can also follow me on Instagram or, um, Facebook. My Instagram is, is Charlene Marie lifestyle. My Facebook is Stephanie Charlene Marie. So you guys, thank you for hanging out with me today. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Great. This is for the air and heat. And look how pretty that is. They do not make things like this anymore. I was not about to let them, night, stop. I was not about to allow them to tear up my kitchen and lose this type of character for a big kitchen. I just wasn't doing it. It's a no for me. So once again, like my video, share my video, share my YouTube. Welcome to Charlene Marie Lifestyle. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.